In this video, we're gonna talk about making 3D videos for the Apple Vision Pro with Atem. Real quick, you're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic and Atomos for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now back to the video. All right, I'm here with uh, Tomas from Atem. Tomas, nice to see you. So yeah, first off, just tell me what is Atem. So Atem is a video delivery uh, software company. So we do uh, software that are used to get your content from the camera uh, down to the end user, this end user being on a traditional TV or no, to a connected headset like the Apple Vision Pro. And what are you doing now specifically for the Apple Vision Pro and their MVHEVC format? Yeah, big video, large, large file that you, you somehow need to get to the device. Mm -hmm. And we leverage a codec called uh, MVHEVC, mm -hmm. that stands for MultiView HEVC, to get those very large files into smaller uh, ones that can be streamed over network uh, for them to be decoded on, on the device. Mm -hmm. So we, we do software to do this video compression. And so you're taking existing 3D content or content that was shot for 3D yeah. and you're able to encode it into the MVHEVC format. Yeah, exactly. So take Avatar 2, for example. So that content was beautifully and carefully crafted in 3D in native 48 FPS. And we, we take those files, there is typically one per eye, one for the left eye, one for the right eye. And we combine them into a single file by referencing uh, and linking them together. So you have one, one side that can be decoded on a TV like usual, mm -hmm. uh, but the second one is encoded by referencing elements from, from the first eye. And that's because most of the information is, is similar. There is a disparity, but, but it's the same content. So we, we leverage that similarity to uh, reduce the file size and, and allow uh, uh, delivery on constrained network like, like your uh, internet connection. Mm -hmm. And also just to clarify on like mm -hmm. Apple terms, uh, the yep. MVHEVC is the format that they're using that they call spatial video. So uh, user generated content like mm -hmm. with your uh, iPhone 15 or uh -huh. even the Apple... Uh, uh, the video you would film on this, yep. okay. Uh, would be special. Um, in, in our case, what we deliver is uh, 3D cinematic assets. Mm -hmm. We also do live, by the way. Uh, the exact terminology is, is up to everyone's decision. Okay. <laughs> um, in uh, various storefront, might brand things differently. Uh, but uh, long story short, uh, for cinema, we, we are still, for now, constrained to a rectangular form factor. But we do also encode uh, wider immersive uh, experiences. So that immersive being the keyword here, mm -hmm. where you, you have a wider field of view uh, that can be one, 180 or even, even more, uh, where instead of having this, this frame you're constrained to that you can play with, but that's still a frame, mm -hmm. now you, you feel um, transported, you, you, you're, you're there in the action. And of course, that opens up a lot of possibility for things like sports, like concerts. Mm -hmm. You can basically be in your living room and decide, oh, I want to tune in to this sports event. And you just put on your headset and you're there in, in the crowd, in probably in the best seat, by the way, not, yeah. not some row, but, but right in the best seat and, and can see the action uh, unfold in front of you as if you were present in, in the stage. All right. And so, uh, yeah, I'm just, uh, if you, what they call spatial video, so if you were to film the video that you film with the headset or the 15 Pro, what, for, what is that format then? So it's using MVHEVC as a codec uh -huh. uh, that was uh, disclosed last uh, WWDC la mm. last summer. Yes, we, we do use MVHEVC. We have an implementation of uh, MVHEVC uh, that we uh, use for more professional uh, content. Uh, right. So not non user content. Uh, yeah. generated content, but content that comes from a traditional uh, workflow. I shouldn't say that traditional because now it's in UHD in HDR. And that's the first time people at home are getting UHD, HDR, 3D. Mm -hmm. that, that experience so far was, was reserved for cinema. Uh, Blu-ray were 3D, but then uh, we did Ultra HD Blu-ray and that was a, a 2D only experience. Mm -hmm. So no one got to see Avatar 2 except in theater mm -hmm. in HDR, 3D. And that's right. changing now with this, and we mm -hmm. are really happy to be part of that new experience for the, for the end user. Yeah. You mentioned sports. Yeah. How else do you think uh, this might change the way that we make content and experience content? We are at the beginning of, of a revolution, I think. Mm -hmm. That device opened up a lot of possibility, creatively on the more cinema side of things, but also for sports. Uh, you can uh, get a wider field of view, obviously, 
but that opened up possibility of overlay. We'll have stats. Mm. If you're a baseball fan, mm. you, you might want to have stats even when you're in the stadium. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you might miss those stats that you, you are used to get with your, your uh, home When experience. you're at home, yeah so, yeah. so now with that, you can kind of merge the two and say, well, I have this, but I can decide how much immersion I want. Uh, and I can get those overlays to complement my experience. So, of course, we, we are tech providers, so we, we do the compression, but, but there's a whole ecosystem that's being built up to, to explore what can be done with, with those devices. Mm. And, and as a user, at least, I think we are barely scratching the surface. Interactivity uh, for gaming, for example, is, is, is the whole thing. You, mm -hmm. you can do so much with that. Yeah. Well, that's very exciting to yeah. uh, see the future, and uh, thank you for the update, and yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the rest of our NAB coverage over here at this playlist, and hit the subscribe button for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next episode.